I'm going to show you how much money you can make when you create custom GPTs and combine them with no code AI platforms and everything in this video. How much money can you make? Well, check this out. The average coding boot camp uh, can cost in between $7,800 and $21,000. It might even be more. But if you go to Google and do this, I searched coding jobs in Los Angeles. Let's scroll down. We're going to find Indeed.com and see how much people are willing to pay for coders. Look what this one says. $40 to $70 an hour. And we have more at 30 to 35 dollars an hour and then you can go to places like fiverr.com and upwork but i'm going to show you how you can not just make some hourly wage how you can make millions of dollars without spending the money on that tuition so how ironic is it that we're going to use a blend of creating custom gpts with a mixture of no code ai says to teach people how to code. We're going to create an online coding bootcamp. If you're an agency owner and you have coding bootcamp clients, this will be an addition, a superpower. Don't sell it to them. Keep it as an asset. Use it for them to create better training and everything. So charge for it as a service. So we're going to go to explore right here. And then <clears throat> now keep in mind, this is going to be easy money. We're going to create a GPT, but first what we need is to program the GPT with no code AI SAS skills and with coding skills. So we want it to be a blend of the two. We want it to be a beginner to advanced level students that could come in. So the no code SAS training will be for the beginning students and the advanced, you know, coding classes and everything will be for uh, students that have somebody, uh, some type of experience. So we went to Google and we searched top 10 coding languages and it gave us Python, Ruby, Kotlin or Kotlin, whatever that is, JavaScript, Swift, Rust, Java, C, double plus, whatever the hell that is, and SQL. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to feed ChatGBT's configuration section right here, the knowledge base right there. We're going to feed it with all the knowledge needed for it to know uh, no code says and for it to know like uh, <coughs> coding period as well as, you know, how to use ChatGPT's system to like hyperdrive everything that we're trying to do. OK, so now you already see how much money these students can make upon like graduating one of these coding boot camps. But also, if you are not an agency owner and you don't work with coding boot camps, if you wanted to create an extra revenue stream or income stream for yourself, uh, you can copy this and create this tool. And if you have an audience, you can charge them a monthly subscription to be able to use your coding uh, tool to be able to be able to learn. Right. So we want to have some fun. First off, we Googled how to code an app like Uber. So we'll start right there. We're going to take this link pause right here. Copy it. Bring it over to a site called Transcript. I mean, Transcribe, YouTube Transcribe. Our transcript, my bad. Okay. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to take the entire transcript. This is an hour long video, guys. It's an, hour, it's an hour and 29 minute long video. And he's going through exactly how to code an app, a rideshare app like freaking uh, Uber. So <laughs> the students are going to have this information because ChatGPT is going to put it into the custom GPT that we, we are creating. Everything needed to know for no code says as well as advanced coding apps. Okay, so we're going to paste that first one. Bow. Okay, it should pop up on there. There's a lot of information. So as you can see, it brings us all the way down here and it's trying to catch up. The system is trying to catch up. All right. So now we want to take this page back to, well, I guess we can leave it right there for now. We're going to go back over here. And we we probably don't need anybody else's help on creating uh, an Uber clone, but there's a couple other training videos like this one right here. This is three hours and it goes through so much to build a uh, Uber uh, 2.0 like clone app, right? So probably should have took that one, but this one is a little bit older, two, two years old. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get how to code an app like Instagram. 
Okay, so remember, it is a crap load of information out here, and we're going to simply feed it into ChatGPT, how to create an app like Instagram. This one is no coding. Um, I don't think we want that one yet. I'm trying to find one with coding. Um, I think the one that they did have was probably broken up. Yeah, the dude broke that one up into multiple videos. Oh, here we go. Here we go. How to build a full stack Instagram clone, but they're still using Flutter. So that's no code, but that's okay. We'll use that. Boom. Guys, and if you're wondering, like, how is this going to turn out? We're going to be able to charge a subscription. Like if you go on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, there's a whole bunch of communities of people that are trying to learn how to code so that they can make money, whether it's to code their own project or to get a job. So we're going to help them with that. And you can make a lot of money with something like this. OK, so we got this right here. We just paste that in there, but it has to catch up. OK, so while it's doing that, we'll go back and we'll find the next one. The next one was TikTok. Let's see. Did it catch up yet? There we go. Jeez. You see how long it takes to catch up? That's because this is a lot of work. A lot of information that we're about to feed into these custom GPTs. OK, <laughs> I'm having fun. What about you? So look, now it's trying to like shut everything down. Let me close that. Let me close. Let me see. No, I close that. Come back over here. I can't close the rest. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, so now we got TikTok. Build a TikTok clone in 24 hours challenge. No. We don't want the entertainment videos. We want like actual like videos that are showing us how to do it. Okay, let's see how to make an app like TikTok. I'm gonna skip through. Okay, he's actually coding. All right, so we'll take that. Pause. Bring that over here. And make sure you guys stick around to see how this is going to turn out. I'm super excited. Look at that music, 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 music. We don't need all that. <laughs> Delete the intro, man. What? No, I'm not going to copy that script. What is going on with this? Go. Okay. Forget all that. Let's go to the next one. And we'll do WhatsApp. Because that's a different type of that's perfect they got it right here in your face right here in your face copy that and this is no code okay so he's showing how to build that one out i ain't even let it get it. yeah copy transcript and now we're gonna put that over here and of course that has to catch up so enough with the clone apps now we're gonna start getting languages python coding python Okay, so this one already has it. This is the next one that we're going to put in there. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys at the end, like, how you will monetize this, okay? So make sure you're sticking around. So this is how you can combine these custom GPTs. What you want to do is combine these custom GPTs with other desirable uh, uh, skills or services or products, right? When you use them as a superpower. Quit trying to sell the GPTs as just itself just just like that's it no you want to combine them with other things that people are interested in purchasing that way you superpower it you supercharge it why did i put the link right there so now we're about to program it python we're going to give it all 10 of <laughs> pause all 10 of the uh, the languages so that our app is completely knowledgeable all right, so it's going to have all the coding training. You know, people will be able to learn how to code. Then it's going to have uh, training for no code as well. So what is the next one? We got Python, then we got Ruby. And we we want one, like a Ruby tutorial. Look at this one, four hours. Woo! That's five years ago. Ruby programming in one video. 
uh, Masterclass Ruby in one video. <laughs> See, a lot of these dudes is just YouTubers, so they just trying to like catch your attention and stuff, and probably aren't going to give you like the best stuff, you know. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the most recent. One. Nah, that's five years ago. So we'll go with this one right here, two years, just to make sure everything is up to date as much as we can possibly give it for the students. And we're gonna copy this information. So a lot of you might be like, "Damn, why you keep copying all this information?" Because we have to feed the information into the configuration knowledge base of the GPT. That way, when a student goes in there, whether they're a beginner or whether they're advanced, they'll be able to ask any question uh, about the GPT, Matter uh, any question from the GPT about coding. Let me see. You know what? I'm going to get that one, too. Even though it's five years old, we're going to get that one, too. I just want to make sure... It can answer every single question. And you can have a virtual assistant do that. Only reason I'm doing this because I'm like making a video for y'all. <laughs> you know, I, I know that this is like tedious, you know, um, but, you know, you want to feed as much knowledge to the uh, GPT as possible to make sure. OK, Kotlin, Kotlin, whatever the hell that is. Let's see. And we even want to find like languages. Eventually, you want to come in here and get language. Whoa, golly, that's that's 13 freaking hours. Oh, my God. Wow. OK. Um, I don't even think that would fit on this freaking document, but <laughs> we'll take this one pause right up under it. And that one is two hours, which is freaking still ridiculous but like i said the more knowledge we feed we're creating our own custom chat gpt the first the same impression awesome impression that you got when you were able to ask chat gpt the original version all of the questions that get answers that's the same impression and shock and awe feeling that we want to give the students that come and ask coding questions all right so this is you creating your own if you're not an agency Owner, this is you creating your own coding boot camp. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole different income stream. So you can start using this, create a YouTube channel and start promoting your tool. Pause, right? Like create a YouTube channel. Uh, uh, go to answer the public and make videos surrounding the most controversial and desired topics and questions uh, in the coding you know, realm or whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, suggest your tool. Pause. <laughs> suggest your tool. You hear me? Like, we'll take pause. This one. Damn, look at that. That one will probably be good, but that's 10 hours. Uh, okay, we'll do this one. The reason why I'm saying this like this, guys, is because, God, Lee, like, we got to put this on the document. And I just want to make sure. Uh, everything fits on the file because that's a long, long, long video. All right. So this is, let's see if it fits. Pause. Boom, boom, boom. So it's telling it everything it needs to know. Uh, don't forget <clears throat> that inside the uh, GPT situation, you'll be able to uh, put the code interpreter feature in there. Uh, it can make imagery. So when when a student is asking the question, the student will be able to say, can you uh, put this in a document or make an image or an infographic showing how this uh, coding lesson that you went over with me works? That's the powerful part, guys. Like it doesn't even have to be like a video. It can come out like this. Now, ChatGPT can create images using Dolly. So that is it's freaking crazy, right? So what is the next coding skill? JavaScript, obviously. Okay, let's go. This is one of the most famous ones, popular ones anyway, JavaScript. Okay, and so these people are going to be fully equipped. We also want to come back around, circle back around, and uh, give them the advance as well. So right now, for the purposes of this video, I am simply 
going and collecting the beginners just so that this video won't be super long, even though <laughs> even though their videos are super long, maybe they give me better views. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If I make this mug full 10, 15, 38 hours, you hear me? Like, <laughs> that's crazy. But the point is, I hope y'all are seeing that you'll be able to, if you copy exactly what I'm doing, you'll be able to make a lot of money. Like, and if you say, oh, that's, it's saturated. Let me take you over here to Udemy real quick. Let me take you over here to Udemy. I need you guys to stop having a scarcity mindset. Uh, and thinking, oh, well, since I'm selling this, what about all the other people that are selling this? I ain't going to be able to make no money. <laughs> Let's look at this. Coding. All right. Now, I need you to see something. There are 10,000 results for coding. But look how many people are in this. 249,277. Then look down. Even though there's a lot of people in there. People are still getting into the other coding programs. People look at this 63,000. People are still buying. People are still buying. People are still buying. And then there's pages and pages, guys. Like every day somebody is turning 17 or 18 and graduating from high school looking for a career every single day. It will never be a, a lack. Stop making up lack in your mind. That's all. It's literally all in your mind. It's, it's always going to be enough for everybody. OK, so I'm going to take this one right here, even though it's four years ago. Oh, look at this one. Damn, that's 11 hours. OK, I'm going to take uh, this one right here. Put that in there. And copy that script. OK, let me copy it again because it wasn't fully done. Paste. OK, so as you guys can see, like these people are going to have a, like an entire database. It, you can't tell me You're like, oh, well, is this even. Is this even going to be valuable? Is this going to be worth paying for, like uh, paying a subscription for? Check this out. Don't you pay a subscription for ChatGPT? Yeah, exactly. ChatGPT got the same knowledge as humans. ChatGPT has the same knowledge as uh, Google. The difference is it's fast, it's faster and it's way more convenient and organized. So it's not about having something. You know, it's not just about having something that other people uh, don't have. It's also about, you know, uh, presenting it in a way that other people haven't prevent presented it before. You know what I'm saying? Like. <sighs> that's what I'm saying. Like we're going to take one more JavaScript because I know that this is an extremely popular coding language or programming language, and we want them to be fully equipped. Like I said, I'm going to come back through here and like, like jack this up, like jack, jack this up. So I also showed you where you guys can promote your stuff at. So you can create like, a little baby course and then inside the course, even if you make the course free like this or something like that, right? Even if you made it free, guys. Inside the course, you can display the tool that you're using to chain uh, to train them and like upsell them inside your course on Udemy, Teachable, Skillshare, all of those. You hear me? So, I mean, I'm, I'm giving you guys the works. You hear me? All right. So let's see. Did we get this one for projects Did I put that on here? Don't forget to subscribe. Paper, rock, scissors. All right. Now, another powerful thing about this, guys, is if you uh, you can, you know, ChatGPT on a fly can can train. Uh, I mean, it can com uh, convert this to different languages. So if you have students from different uh, countries and everything, that's another thing that a regular coding boot camp, uh, you know, if they don't have bilingual teachers there, they wouldn't be able to do it. You know, they wouldn't be able to help people from all over. All right, so we got this one from 11 months ago, but that mug is <laughs> seven hours. Golly, yeesh. Y'all can't do it in, in, in less than seven hours? Like, golly, okay. Um, Yeah, I see that these coding videos, is <laughs> they really go go in on it. And look how, how the views work. I think I might make a coding channel, guys. Hear me just to promote this tool right here. I think I might make a coding channel. I don't even know code. 
But the good thing about it is I don't have to know code because my tool will know code. So get it? No code. <laughs> my tool will know code. So I won't have to like no code. All the information will be correct because I'm feeding it into the tool right now. Right. And these are experts and everything. So I'll just get the video ideas from what's the name of uh, answer the public. And then I'll uh, have my own custom GPT come up with the like the, uh, you know, the scripts and what I should talk about, what students would be concerned with, the best things they should learn. And then I'll recommend to them uh, after they subscribe, <laughs> I recommend them that they can go ahead and go to the description or the pin comment and use my tool to become well versed in the art of uh whatever the, you know these coding languages and stuff so this one is from five years ago this one is is seven hours so i'm gonna take this anyway ain't like i gotta manually transcribe it so we're gonna see will this file be able to even fit because technically guys i have no idea if these files will fit like this <laughs> this is my first time doing uh a file this large, the pause. So I, I need to. I don't even know if it will fit into the GPT, uh, but it should. It should be able to take as much information as you want to plug into it. That's seven hours worth. Golly. Okay, so that was Swift. Was another language we got Rust. <laughs> Oh, but I didn't even tell you guys what we're going to do. So the platform, the no code platform that we're going to use, you can come over here to softer. You can come over here to softer and then you can go to templates. OK, so this is if you want to create your own online coding uh, uh, boot camp. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go here. They come with like portals and templates and everything like that so that you don't have to build it from scratch. Look at this education. Uh-huh. Watch. Look, e-learning website, knowledge base, uh, video content website. So we'll click on e-learning. And in fact, let's go back real quick. Uh, let's go to education. I just want to make sure I didn't miss one online classes. So this one will be like kind of like you to me, like what I was just showing you, you know, online community courses, education, membership, that type of stuff. So it's kind of like you to me take payment for your products or courses securely via Stripe. I don't like Stripe at all, but that's how it would work, guys. So there's a template. You don't even have to build this out from scratch. And if you don't like their templates, you can come over here to bubble.io. Go to template section right here. Uh, go to explore templates. And then you can type in there. We'll say courses. Let's see what pops up. Okay. AI says starter kit online learning like Udemy. So as you can see, they have the template. So you can click on preview. And let's see how it looks. Boom. It looks just like it looks just like you to me. Even got the categories right there that you would program and the little sections and all of that. This is freaking crazy. Right. So, boom, it comes ready to go out the box. So next we got to do rest. OK, so what do y'all think? And let me know in the comments so far. What do y'all think about how we're programming this? Do you think it'll be valuable enough for somebody to pay, uh, you know, a beginner, you know, because you're like, oh, well, all these lessons are on YouTube. Yes, they are. <laughs> but as you can see, look at this. Who the hell want to sit through 13 hours uh, of just miscellaneous like you have no idea or guidance where to go? So we can literally feed all of this information into this custom GPT and give the students a direct outline of the fastest ways to learn whichever coding uh, uh, um, coding program language or whatever they want to learn. On top of that, you know, if they have a specific project and they uh, they, you know, describe it or whatever, then we'll be able to have the custom GPT tell it 
you know, the like the fastest way to learn how to code that specific project. Like it's some stuff that I want to like code. Hold on. Can't sync changes. Copy your recent edits, then revert your changes. What is it talking about, man? I think the I think the file is too large. Y'all. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. So what we're going to do is we're just going to see if revert your changes. No, 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 no. Did it delete anything? Did it delete anything? It don't look like it deleted anything. Okay. You see how much information? <laughs> That's why I did that. It's like, damn, this dude putting all oh, this on this one document. All right, but it's okay. It shouldn't have no limit because some people use this to like write books and stuff, life stories and all of that. I don't even know where the end is. There's no beginning. There is no end. Look at this. I'm still going because that's like hours. How do I go to the bottom? Anybody know how to get to the bottom of the map? Like, golly, look how many pages. Y'all can even see that. We on page 85. Wow. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick up where I left off. We on page 112. So let's go ahead. This will be a perfect opportunity for me to download this and show y'all how to go ahead and plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. All right. <laughs> go ahead and plug it into the configuration right here. So this is what they're going to do over here on this GPT. Is you're gonna say you can say make something like make a creative blah blah blah. Okay, we're creating, we're creating an online coding boot camp uh, that will take beginners to advanced students to the point where they can create whatever project they want with minimal to no knowledge to start. We want them to be able to program all types of complex uh, apps and software without knowing how to code. If they do know how to code, we want to be able to enhance their skills quickly and effortlessly. Okay, so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us a name. <laughs> it's gonna give us a name and we're gonna say, no, sir. No, sir. And we're going to say um, <laughs> GPT camp. Or like, I'm trying to come up with a cool name for this. You know what I'm saying? All right. How about naming it Code Mentor? Hmm. 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 Nah, how about this? Code Miyagi. How do you spell Mr. Miyagi, man? I can't remember, man. All right. <laughs> All right. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes, Danielson. Pause. Wax on, wax off. So hold, y'all can't feel this. Y'all see I'm doing it right now. You know, we want to name this Yagi Sensei. Hey. <laughs> For now. Okay. All right. So we're gonna name it Code Miyagi. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah, I told y'all, man, you got to be creative with this game. You hear me? Okay, so now it's taking us through a whole bunch of stuff. You know, it's going to take us through some steps that we need to make this legit and make this helpful, different prompts and questions. And speaking of questions, we can literally go and uh, go to answer the public, like I told you guys about. And look at this code me, I get a mentor boot camp. Um, I guess we can keep that for now. Yeah, I like the profile picture. Excuse me. I like it. Let's continue. 
All right. So while it's going to the next phase, let's go ahead and test to see. And, and you can choose over here, like what, you know what I'm saying, you wanted to do. Can you help me debug this code? Blah, blah, blah. So, of course, you see they, they already automatically cut that on so that, you know, because there's a coding app, right? <laughs> it does image generation and web browsing, all of that. OK, so it works. So now we're going to and you can create new actions and uh, connect Zapier and do all type of stuff. Like if the students want to like take the lesson off here and have it automatically sent somewhere, you can program it to do that. Boom. Let's click on the file. I'm going to type no code. No code. Where is it at, man? Jesus. Uh, oh, everything. That's the word I'm supposed to type in. Everything. Everything. Here we go. Needed. Everything needed to know for blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is a large file. But as you can see, wow, look how quick it uploaded it. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer than that, baby, but it didn't. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay. <laughs> so it got that so far. And over here, it says, let's, let's refine the role and goals of Code Miyagi. Currently, it's designed to guide students from beginners to advance in software development, helping them understand programming concepts, languages, and best practices. Is there a specific programming language or technology you want Code Miyagi, uh, Miyagi to uh, specialize in, or should it cover a broad range? It should cover a broad range, but specialize in Swift, Rust, uh, Java, Script, uh what's the other ones let's see uh javascript python i don't know how i can think of that python kotlin python kotlin and where are we at ruby y'all see how valuable this is gonna be regular java coffee no i'm just playing oh, okay all right so you'll be able to like have your own coding boot camp. And let me show you something else because a lot of y'all are still like, mm, I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, well, let me prove it to you. But let me show you me. So we're gonna say plus plus, boom. Now watch this. We're gonna open up another Google tab and I'm gonna type in, and let, let, let me just show you for you scarcity mindset having people. Watch this, coding boot camp. Oh my God, I just put the ladder in, the ladder in, and Austin popped up, Atlanta popped up, Arkansas, Arizona, we're going to put a B, Bay Area, Boston, Berkeley, Birmingham, Alabama, Boise, Buffalo, put a C, Chicago, Charlotte, Columbus, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Colorado. So why am I showing you this? Because Let's say that you live in Cincinnati, okay? You can rank right here pretty much instantaneously because as you can see, is no, is no even, it's not even a three pack. Wow, opportunity, guys. You, if you stay in Cincinnati and you can get a Google My Business listing, that means you will automatically rank right here. And as you saw, uh, um, people are paying like between five and twenty one thousand dollars to go to a coding boot camp. So you can just like use this as an opportunity to like monopolize this market, meaning like cut off everybody else by giving people a different option. You're going to be different. You're not the same. So you're going to be leveraging your custom GPT, your no code SaaS programming super powered gpt tool to like get students from going to the traditional code and boot camp to using your tool and then as an upsell you can have human uh, uh human coaches so that will be an upsell and you can partner with human coaches that know coding so when a person comes in and gets your subscription uh you you um have it to where it automatically sends them an email offering them coaching with a human 
right? So that, that, that way they got a choice. Yo, I'll just stay on the subscription with the tool and use the custom GPT to try to learn how to code. But when I need someone, they'll be there instead of me just constantly paying all this money to deal with somebody else when I can just learn it from, uh, from this tool and maybe a little course that will come along with the tool. So that is why people would pay for your subscription. And as you can see, there are endless cities to do this in. We'll go to D. Now we got Dallas, Detroit, Denver. Mm, same thing. Look at this. And it's not a lot of competition for this, right? It's not too many to compete with, but it's a lot of money in this code and stuff, right? They can make a lot of money and you can make a lot of money teaching them or your tool will teach them. Right. One page for that. Boom. I think I'm going to start in Cincinnati. Yes, Lord. Oh, snap. See, I just gave you all the game right there. I just gave you all the game. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and copy this. We're going to copy this title right here. And then we're going to say I need a new file, baby. I need a new document. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Because we got cold Miyagi game going. Yes, Lord. So make sure y'all don't like copy like the, the name of my stuff. Like, you know, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get it solidified. Uh, but it's copyrighted already because you guys are watching this in the upload date. <laughs> so anybody try to do something, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. So we got Rust. So now we want to get a video for Rust. Okay. And then we're going to put that on this part two. Boom. And then we're going to get back to it, baby. So as you can see, it's asking us more questions over here. Did it put that on there? Yeah, it did put that on there. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. So next thing it asks us. It's currently designed to help them do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, in terms of guiding students, how should code Miyagi balance between giving direct answers and encouraging students to think critically and solve problems on their own? The balance is crucial in education settings. I want it to lean more towards uh, giving direct answers. But where it is more useful in real life scenarios, I want, I spell scenarios with us in there, scenarios, I want them to have to use their brain. Yes, Lord. Okay, so... We don't want, you know, people that can't use their brains, all right? We want them to have some type, like, thinking capabilities or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, as you guys can see, I'm building this up, I'm building it out. At the end of this, we'll be able to ask it whatever, 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 whatever. We'll be able to ask it whatever we want to ask it. And so with the students, regarding the way Ko Miyagi communicates, would you uh, prefer, excuse me, a formal and technical tone or a more casual and friendly approach? This will help define how it interacts with students, making the learning experience more engaging and effective. Uh, give me a more casual tone using modern slang um, and a bit of humor. Reference popular figures, celebrities, and analogies from this decade that might emphasize our um, give clarity in a more relatable way. Oh, snappage. Oh, snappage. Let's say metaphors too. So like stuff like this is what we want to do to make our um, stuff unique. Before this custom GPT thing came out, like I was like a, a prompt genius, according to my wife and according to the people that I was teaching things like SEO to. They were like, yo, 
how are you getting the answers you're getting? How are you getting so much content that's unique to come back? How are you passing all of these AI detectors and all of that? It's a way that you talk to these tools. You hear me? Stop talking to them like they're robots. Talk to them like they're you. Okay. So now that we've defined Code Miyagi's communication style and approach to teaching, let's consider how it should handle requests for clarification. Should Code Miyagi ask clarifying questions when the student request is vague or should it uh, make assumptions? Nope. Never make assumptions. Continue asking the student to clarify until all is revealed and understood okay so we're making this to where not only where the student or the user is going to be like fully edified and understand the entire situation and all of that extra stuff but also to where uh, the custom GPT itself, Code Miyagi, will, you know, how is it going to give the great answers if, like, you know, if if it doesn't understand what the question is? I'm sorry. Repeat your question. I'm sorry. Repeat your request. Right. Finally, finally, how would you like Code Miyagi to personalize his interactions? For example, should it remember and reference uh, previous interactions with the same student or should each interaction be treated independently? This aspect of personalization can greatly enhance the learning experience. Okay, that's a great question. Um, for returning users, I want it to ask if they'd like to pick up where they left off or start from the beginning. Boom, see? Easy, man. You see how it's like, and it's doing all of this coding and programming and all of this extra stuff for you, man. So my goal is to try to figure out how to get Code Miyagi up off of here. So <laughs> I'm gonna use that little section uh, that they give you for the actions and stuff. And I'm going to start feeding the data from here that we collect over here to something else. Like I'm going to hire somebody and try to figure out how we can get it off here because I already know what they're trying to do. They're trying to create the like the Play Store and have a monopoly on apps that were created from ChatGPT. We've seen this coming. All right. So it says Code Miyagi is now set up and ready for testing. Please go ahead and try it out in the playground. That's this section over here. Uh, if there are any refinements or changes you like to make after testing, just let me know. How does it go? Okay, I'd like you to utilize more visual learning techniques when explaining something to a student. Make sure to include relevant, relevant, I can't even remember how to spell relevant. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Relevant images and like infographics that make your points to the students. It needs to be as clear as possible. Also, don't forget to reference uh, um, uh, detailed videos from YouTube if needed to give them clarity. Boom. All right. So now it's like doing all of that, taking the feedback that I'm giving it and everything. So we can hop back over here and we got rust on here. Come on, man. Jesus. These little situations, boy. OK. Should be good. OK, so now we got rust. And who else? We have Java. We got three more Java. It's, I guess Java is different from JavaScript. You hear me? <laughs> okay, so we're going to get this. 
Boom, learn job in 14 minutes. I doubt it. I doubt it. See, that's what I'm saying. You got to like stay clear of the uh, 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 um, the freaking like clickbait. OK, so we got this one. Four hours. I uh, got go ahead and deal with that. Yeah, we want as much as we can possibly get. Now, not only does ChatGPT itself know a lot about coding because it's a freaking bot, <laughs> ChatGPT itself is made from coding and all of this extra stuff, right? But still, we want it to be like really, really detailed and used uh, uh, in a way that people can actually understand it, not just in a way that it understands how to do things and stuff. We want it to un uh, understand how humans learn. So we have to like introduce it to uh, human teaching styles. And that's why we're feeding these videos to it. Right. Look at this, man. Didn't I go ahead and paste this in here? Let me do it again. Boy, this like, gets on my nerves. OK, so what is next? We got C++. Let's do C++. Plus, plus, learning an hour. We'll go ahead and deal with that. Like, why isn't it doing it? Okay, see what. Uh, is it a limit? Yeah, let me know. Is it a limit to how much you can use? Okay, so we got part two. Let's go ahead and save this one, and then we're gonna upload this one just in case, man. Because uh, I'm already feeding a lot of stuff in here at one time. So let's see. All right, let's say you were everything. Okay, everything. Yes, you are my baby. All right, so we got parts one and part two. And we're going to make a new document because this is starting to get on my nerves. New document. And let's see if it goes ahead and allows us to paste. Guys, I, I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe I have reached some type of limit <laughs> with with docu with docs or something like that, but it's not okay. There we go. Guess you just gotta show patience, you hear me? Okay, so we got that. So now we need C. We'll take this video right here. Oh baby. Down on my knees, baby. And I'm asking God, please, baby. All righty. Boom. There we go. So we're literally gathering all of the coding languages. Y'all are seeing this live. And we are feeding it, feeding it into this GPT. So it's going to know everything. Everything everything about no code and coding so we're giving it the code stuff right now but we're going to feed it the no code stuff as well All right okay you are everything and everything is you come on man paste 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 Let's see. So what's the next language? Music you. There we go. I think we got one more. SQL. Yes, Lord. Then we'll be able to ask it some questions. We'll be able to test this baby out, baby. We'll be able to test it out, BB. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, hear me. Hey, this is a long video, so I'm, I'm you know, you got to play around a little bit. You hear me? You got to play around. Damn, this one is 20 hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> it says from complete beginner to expert. <sighs> Do I want to pass that up? Okay, I'm going to get this one, and I'm going to get that one. Since this is the last one. I guess we can go hard. We can go hard, y'all. We can go hard because then we got to go ahead and come back through here with the no code stuff. You know, figure out how to like program it with the no code stuff. Okay. So we got that one for 45, uh, 44 minutes. Now we're going to get 
This one. Oh, well, this one is six hours ago. Let me see. Is this one? Is she speaking English? I got to get it if it's speaking English, guys, because majority of the people that are going to be watching my stuff is is are English speakers. Okay, so come on, come on. Stop going so damn slow. Okay, but well, she's writing in English. Let's see. Her tags are in English. Okay, let's see real quick. Let's test if she's speaking English. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Anyway, uh, I don't know if she's speaking English and this computer is acting up. So I'm just going to take this one right here. That's 20 hours because I know it's going to cover pretty much every damn thing that uh, they need to know about Q SQL. And we're going to feed that into the custom GPT. Come on. I don't know. Am I running something in the background that's slowing things down? Or is it just because I'm making these large documents? Because this is crazy. So I can close that out. That is the 20th. The 20 hour one. Yeesh. Look how many hours that is. Who was just sitting there putting that together for 20 hours? But this chat, uh, this GPT, this custom GPT is going to know like pretty much everything, guys. And I still haven't got the no code stuff yet. See, <laughs> that's a lot of information. You see how it's acting? Okay, let's come over here and mess around with this real quick and see what's going on. Okay, Code Miyagi is now updated with a focus on visual learning techniques using images, demographics, and video references for clear explanations. Feel free to test Code Miyagi in the plat playground and see how it performs if there are any further re adjustments and refinements you like just let me know how does everything look okay so i'm not gonna press save yet because i'm still trying to put this last document in there but this mug has frozen up because because i got that 20 hour script that i'm trying to plug in here so i'm trying to figure out like even what to talk to y'all about while we wait for that one, for the page to catch up. Look how slow. Look at it, man. Damn. Okay, let's see. No code. No code. SAS training. So we're trying to find, yeah, we'll get some bubble stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of little no code stuff too. We wanted it to be, we wanted to be expert. Um you know, in no code, and we wanted to be expert in coding. Okay, come on, please, please. <sighs> okay, so what what I do? Because it could be acting like that. Because I got Zoom running too. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. Confirm just for the sake of this video. But as you guys know, I'm gonna come back through here and add some more information to it so it can be like the top one out there you hear me ain't nobody gonna be messing with this one right okay so then like i said you can uh you know change these like prompts right here these example prompts how do i start with python can you help me debug this code what's the best practice for app design blah 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 if you if you don't think those are the, like questions people will have about coding then you can just google or ask chat gpt what are the most common questions beginners and advanced people have about coding and then you can just act uh, you can just put two over here for beginners put two over there for advanced or put two at the top for beginners and put two at the bottom for advanced right or you can say where to start if i'm a beginner where to start if i'm intermediate where to start if i'm advanced where to start if i am doing no code says boom so i mean anyway you guys choose to do it as you can see this still is not going how I want it to go. This is crazy. If I refresh the page, it is not going. Let's try. Let's try to refresh the page, man. Try to refresh the page, man. Because this computer is uh, prehistoric like a caveman. I'm trying to break free. I feel like a cage man. I want to roam around like cage-free chickens. <laughs> Uh, let's see 
There we go. Come on, man. It is seven o'clock on the dot. I'm not in the drop top. I'm on this computer. Okay. How about we just close that out? So that mug then got stuck some down for some reason. Let's see if we can open it back up. Will it did it save the last SQL information? Because if not, man, I'm going to be hot, man. And the inventors of this software are going to get shot, man. Now I'll just play. All right, let's click on this. Okay, so it, it did pick up. I'm going to have to use this stroll bar real quick. If I can catch it, it won't even let me catch the stroll bar. I'm trying to stroll all the way to the dang on bottom. Damn, so many pages. Maybe it did get the dang on 20 hour one. Jeez. Yeah, I think it got the 20 hour one. It just ain't let me see it. Yep, I'm still not able to get to the bottom. So it got the, it must have the 20 hour one because it's already on page 118. I was going to 119, 125. What the hell? Okay. This is crazy. Oof. Okay, yeah, so it got the 20 hours. <laughs> so we'll just say every thing needed to know or no code says in coding part three. So after this one is plugged in, I need to put in some information about no code. So it can be complete. Let's go up in here, and if you need to edit, all you do is click right here. Make sure you are on the app that you're trying to edit or the GPT that you're trying to edit. Click X, edit GPT. Then I'm going to go here, and I'm about to add the third edition, the new edition without the music, true religion without the genes. Okay. The money busting out the seams. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all, without the cream. I don't eat dairy. If somebody get on my bad side horror movie, it will be scary. No, I'm just playing. All right, so <laughs> then you just press update. But I ain't updating yet. I want to create a new document because we're done with the coding languages. Oops, I just, I just downloaded it again. New document. We're done with the coding languages. So now we want to get as much no code SAS training as we possibly can. Like with stuff like bubble, you know, it'll be able to ask about bubble. No code SAS training only for code Miyagi. I think that's how you spell it. Part one. So as y'all can see, man, like I'm, 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 I'm trying to go hard with this. You hear me? Like I want this to be like super G. So we got YouTube script. I want this to be extremely helpful. I want it to be worth it uh, for the subscription. And I'm gonna add more features through the uh, custom GPT actions section, just so that I can make sure it's set apart. And it's not just spitting out information. I wanted to be able to do things too, right? So if you want to test it out, get the dang on subscription. You hear me? What is this? Existing. Come on, man. Make sure you're spelling it right, baby. Make sure you're spelling it right, baby. Think about the baby before you act all crazy. Okay. No code says training. I'm to start no code SAS for beginners. We're going to just go. How about this? I know what to do. I know what to do. This is how you filter out. We want length over 20 minutes. 
and pause. Okay. <laughs> here we go. We got this one right here. So as you can see, the no code SAS videos are a lot shorter than the coding videos because these are just mainly YouTubers telling you about opportunities. But we're going to go and get some tutorials as well. This one is how to monetize it, like how to start a SAS no code SAS business without coding. All right. All right. Build a SAS business that earns blah, blah, blah. We still want training. Here we go. Now, this is how it goes. Boom. We got a bubble. Here we go. This is bubble. Bubble is that no code platform I showed you guys the template to earlier. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay. We put this in her. I like the way you do that right there. You hear me? I'm St. Louis, baby. I never forgot you, baby. Uh-huh. All right. Then we got this bubble ASS. I mean, ASS. <laughs> SAS beginners course. You hear me? Okay. It's a dang on channel that has all the like bubble training on that mug. I'm I might have to find that mug. I might might pause the video and find that. Just so you guys will be able to know what I'm talking about. Cause that dude, yeah, that dude is G. Okay. Everybody, I noticed that they're dang on um transcriptions. All of them spell SAS wrong. So I'm guessing these are just um, you know, automatically generated from YouTube itself. Cause if you say the word SAS, then it's it's going to, yeah, this is the dude, his channel right here. You hear me? Like Matt Neary. I might as well just get all the no code stuff from his dang on channel. You hear me? Like, uh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Because he got the technical stuff for Bubble. Like, if you have any trouble with Bubble, like, that's another thing. Like, <laughs> I was working on uh, some projects with Bubble, but I'm going to have to help. I'm going to get some outsourcing done or whatever. Because I was trying to do it, and then you get to a part where it's like, okay, <laughs> that is not simple right there. Even though it's no code, no code does not like translate to like easy. Okay, it's simple, but not easy. Remember that. There's a difference between easy and simple. Okay, simple means it might have a few steps that you have to follow. Easy means that those implementation steps are effortless <laughs> with you you can do them without uh extraordinary abilities or skills that's what the difference is <laughs> that's the difference between simple and easy right so here's another one this is another channel that really goes over bubble okay and bubble <laughs> That's the top platform for people that are looking to build a no code SaaS project. Um, but like I said, you know, softer, the one that I showed you guys first with the education platforms and all of that with templates and stuff, that one is easier, but it doesn't have, uh, you know, as much freedom as far as like being able to customize your stuff and extra features and and all of that. So. To tell you the truth, what I would do is I might have a VA come back through her and go through all of her channels. Like these are the top channels for no code, in my opinion. Coaching no code apps. And then where is he at? Uh Matt Neary. Like we click on Matt Neary's channel. I know he's making a killing on this freaking channel. Uh <laughs> He has everything, pretty much everything you need to know. All the questions about bubble like all the no code like questions about bubble so this is a channel that like i would recommend you guys use and build a facebook like commenting system you know good database design um so if you're running into any issues building a bubble app no code app uh no code says then like this channel right here he got a video for pretty much everything OK, the web hooks, how web, cook, uh, web hooks work, all of that extra stuff. And then, you know, so now you'll be able to come over here 
and be like, yo, what about the web hooks? <laughs> I'm stuck on the web hooks and, and building my bubble app. What do I do next? Give me imagery steps. So that's what we about to go and see if it works. You know, uh, did I put this? Did I put this one in there? Did I paste this one? Let's see. Okay. Successfully launch your app. Successfully launch your app. Okay. All right. So we got the no code SAS training. And like I said, I come back through here a little bit later and, you know, add all the no code stuff. But this video, I ain't trying to do a 20 hour video like old dude them. So we're going to test it out. Uh, give me a second. So let's go ahead and put some no code training in here. No code. And where are we at, baby? Okay. Boom. All right. So now it's uploaded and we can press update. And you set this to only me can see this. Only people with a link. Public. Public. It says this GPT may appear in the GPT store coming soon. This one is self-explanatory. So they don't give you an explanation. <laughs> this is how I was recommending you guys create a... Uh, a uh, what do you call it? A subscription for you can create a subscription. So the beginning, the top of your funnel would be the the simple subscription, right? The simple subscription to this coding uh, online coding bootcamp. Then uh, it can be upselled to uh, uh, you know maybe like a little mini course or something. Then it could be upselled to coaching, right? Like group coaching. Then it could be upselled to like one on one coaching, then it could be upsell to some type of mastermind where, uh, you know, the, the the coaches like human coaches and stuff teach them how to leverage this combined with their uh, years of experience to go ahead and create whatever dream app or software that they're planning on doing. So that's pretty much how the funnel would go, guys. And if you're an agency, like I said at the beginning, you can just uh, charge your clients a monthly service fee to add this to their training and stuff like that. Don't sell this to them. Don't give them the keys to this. Uh, charge them monthly for it, right? Because it's definitely worth it if you program this properly and you add some custom actions like I'm going to do. So I am confirming it now and only people with the link will be able to see it. Okay. Now it says view GPT. I'm going to exit out all the rest of this stuff. All right. And boom. Okay. So now we can just answer the question. Let's see if it works. Because we didn't pretty much put everything into it so far, except for some more no-code training. Uh, explain to me in a beginner style using infographics and exact steps how to build the uber app using uh only javascript i'm just giving you we're just testing it out let's see how it works okay Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So it's searching this knowledge. It says searching my knowledge, guys. If it was searching the Internet, it would say uh, browsing the web. So that's why you want to feed it as much information as you possibly can. All right. Because you want it to not just search the web and give some type of generic information. You want it to actually give the information that you fed it. If you don't have the answers in there, guys, then your app is not going to be your GPT custom GPT is not going to be as valuable as other people that are uh, doing what you're doing. Right. The more knowledge you put in there, the more you stand out, the more answers you have for uh, whatever questions, the more people will become dependent on your custom GPT app. So it's 
searching knowledge. I kind of wanted to go faster. So I wonder if I go in there and say search faster, will it actually obey? Because <laughs> this is taking a little second. But I guess if I'm a student and I really want the answer or whatever, I'll like be patient and stuff. But I'm kind of rushing it since I'm on here with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it is a fairly, you know, big request. It is a fairly big request. So we're going to give it this time. Yeah, exactly. All right. So guys, as you can see, it's still searching. So I'm going to pause it while it is searching. All right. So I had to go back and do a few things to make sure that it would give us the right information. And this is what it is doing. It says creating an app like Uber is an ambitious project, especially for beginners, but breaking down the steps can make it more manageable. Here's a detailed breakdown with actionable guidance. OK, so it got the task to find the core features of your app for an Uber like app. Essential features include user registration, uh, driver matching, GPS navigation, fare calculation and payment processing action. Create a document listing all these features. Research how these features work in existing apps. This is this step is crucial as it sets the foundation. So let's test this out. We'll just say, how does we're gonna ask? We're gonna ask. How do I program a driver? What is it called? Driver matching into an app let's see let's see if we can answer this question programming driver matching in an app like uber look how quick is answering that question involves several key components understanding user location implementing matching logic managing real-time data here's a simplified overview of how you can approach this oh my god look at this so what we'll do after this guys uh, what a student would do is they'll say, OK, well, explain to me exactly how to do step one, step by step. Explain to me exactly how to do step two, step by step. Explain to me how to do the real time data. So as the uh, the broad answer gave it the steps. Now we want to break down the steps and everything. Right. So and like I said, guys. This is just a subscription, you know, a tiny subscription, nine to uh, nine dollars to nineteen dollars a month. And then inside it will upsell a mini course. And then inside the mini course, it will upsell uh, group coaching with actual human uh, coaches that you partner with and split the uh, split the uh, profits with. And then it will upsell a mastermind from that. So, like, guys. The mastermind will show them, will help them actually launch their project and everything. So that's how you monetize this. You're combining these custom GPTs with no code, SaaS and AI. This is genius. There's never been nothing like this before. That's why it's so exciting. And if you're an agency owner and you, I just gave you a niche to go after, go after uh, coding boot camps and no code boot camps and stuff like that. And this will be uh, this can be your software tool can be your foot in the door uh, if they don't already have something like this. They are coders. <laughs> <laughs> they are coders, so they might not be too impressed. I don't know, we'll see. But, you know, you're an agency. So it's not even that you're just uh, bringing this tool. You're bringing this tool and you're bringing the fact that you can rank, you can run ads, you can do all of that stuff that they can't do. Right. So they might be able to code better than you. Uh, but you you have another super skill as well. OK, so go ahead and take action on this first pin comment, guys. You can get uh, a session with both coaches before this weekend is over. This price is going up that four ninety seven will be a thousand bucks if you want to get on a two hour session with me and Curtis. And uh, we break down how to take your agencies to at least two hundred K per month guaranteed building out the digital twins. And, uh, you know, buying, having buyers equity into a business without ever investing into the business. Right. So we're showing you guys how to not just be agency owners anymore, but be partial business owners without any of the responsibilities or liabilities. OK. Or legal problems. OK. So go ahead and take advantage of that in a first pin comment. See you guys, Lars Will, in the next one.